then this is my recipe for a vegan lemon bundt cake. It's a light fluffy sponge with a huge rise for a vegan cake. Okay, so to get straight into this vegan bundt cake recipe, I'm gonna start by making my vegan buttermilk. It's a really simple process. Use any plant-based milk that you have and raw apple cider vinegar. In your small bowl, add 300 ml of soy milk, two teaspoons of raw apple cider vinegar. Give it a quick stir. So now just set that aside for about five minutes to curdle. Then we're gonna move on to the dry mix. Sieve 450 grams of plain flour, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. Now stir through. So next up is the caster sugar. So this is 320 grams of caster. And then again, just stir that to combine. Now measure 200 ml of vegetable oil, zest and juice, two medium lemons. Great, so now coming back to my buttermilk, it's been sat for about five minutes. It's nice and it's slightly thickened and curdled. I'm gonna add my oil, that was the 200 ml of vegetable oil. Add the juice of my two lemons. Add all that straight in. To this I'm adding a teaspoon of vanilla. And lastly, the zest from the lemons. Okay, so I've got all of my wet ingredients here with a fork, I'm just giving them a quick mix together. And I've got my dry ingredients ready as well. Grease your pan with plant-based butter. So I've greased my pan. Now what I do is I also put a little bit of flour in the pan and you just wanna knock it round just so you get a little bit of flour caught on all over the sides. And this is because if it's too well greased, then the actual batter, as, as it's trying to grow, it's gonna slip away from the sides because of the shape of the actual tin. And because it's quite a deep cake as well, you do want to get that rise. Okay, so now I've got everything ready, pop the oven on to preheat at 170. Then we're just gonna add the wet to your dry mix and then just give that a quick whiz. Got my good old school whizzer here. Now a quick whisk until your batter is smooth and pour it in your tin. Okay, so that's done, nice and easy. It's going straight into the oven on 170 for around 35 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. And just pop a skewer in there until it comes out clean. So mine will take about 40 minutes. Once out of the oven, leave it to cool for 10 minutes before tipping it out. To remove, place your cooling rack on the base and just flip it over and gently remove your tin. That came out so easy as you saw, it didn't need tapping or anything. And that's all because we greased it thoroughly and we floured it. And you can see the little speckles of flour, tiny little ones, that's really helped the rise. I'm gonna cover mine in buttercream and decorate it all really nice for Easter, but make sure it gets cooled down properly before you put any icing on. To a bowl, add 125 grams of plant-based butter. Sieve 300 grams of icing sugar. Add the zest and juice of one lemon. Whisk for two minutes until smooth. Then chuck your icing on your cake and toppings to decorate. These are my caramel mini eggs. For the YouTube recipe, click here and dive on in. So that's how you make a vegan lemon bundt cake. I really hope you found my recipe useful. It's taken me a long time to perfect, to still get that great rise that a bundt cake has and be vegan. Please subscribe to my channel and comment below if you have any questions at all, I will make sure that I respond. And of course, if you've got a recipe request, shoot it my way and I'll see what I can do. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna dive into this now. I feel bad, I feel like there should be a party or something, but I'm gonna go for it because you kind of need to see inside, don't you? Look at that for lemon cake! And look at that for a vegan cake rise. I'm pretty impressed, I've got to say. And you can see there's lovely bits of zest in there too. But the proof is in the pudding. Okay. 
ridiculous. It's a really lovely light fluffy sponge, but it's got that lovely bunt cake crust. And obviously because it's got such a huge surface area, the crust goes all the way around. Anyway, thank you so much again, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. This should, fingers crossed, just crossed, crossed, just lift straight off. So on to the fun bit now, the decorating of the cake. <laughs> That's a really good cake.